This is another one of PP's lesser known dive sites. It's called Al Nui, which translates to small bay in Thai. And I start shooting with these guys. They're called saw jaw thread fins. And they always seem to congregate in a motionless school, just like this, against the current. This is an Indian feather worm. You'll see what happens when I get a little closer with the camera. He sucks all his tentacles back into the main body. Many people think that they're a kind of coral, but they're not. They're a worm. Everyone knows what this fish is. It's a Titan trigger fish. And those bluefish are wrasse, and in comes a longfin banner fish. They're all feeding on an open clam there. It must be delicious. All the reef fish love that stuff. This is a good example of what the reef can look like around Al Nui. Bubble coral. Aha, this is a beautiful fish. He's called a peacock sole. Many divers find it difficult to tell the difference between a sole and a flounder. Uh, and you do so by the position of the eyes on the top of the head. And you can see just how perfectly camouflaged he is with the sandy bottom. Harlequin ghost pipe fish. Difficult to find, but when you do, you can generally go back and look at them for many, many dives because they rarely move from their home. And this is a shot of a male actually incubating some eggs. They incubate the eggs in their pectoral fins. And the male is always the larger of the two when you see them in a pair like this. And there are the eggs there being held in those fins. Nudibranchs are common on all the dive sites of PP, but particularly on Al Nui for some reason. The common name here in Thailand is called a fried egg nudibranch for obvious reasons. And this guy is very rare. He's called a ceratosoma, and those wings that are sticking out on either side of the gills are actually sacrificial meaning if something comes along to eat it, normally it will eat the wings first and then the nudibranch can make a speedy recovery. 